welcome back and happy February. We are talking about love and I love me some love. I have a question and this was actually, I had um, saw it on somebody's Instagram post, I think it was. And what she was saying, it was a post that says you have to love yourself before you can be loved. And she snapped on there and she said, don't tell me that I can't be loved by somebody when I'm going through a time where I don't love myself. That's not true. And I was like, whoa. I think that that was a very, a very insightful point that she made. So that expression of you have to love yourself before somebody else can love you. Is that true? And what is, what is self-love? What does that mean to love yourself? What does that look like? Well, I have to say, I, I somewhat agree with the woman's reaction. I mean, maybe to not, not to that point. I don't know that I would have challenged you the same way. <laughs> But I do think that there are times when I am not loving on myself that, you know, either you ladies will step in or my husband or my family members or a friend, another friend would show me love that then helps me love myself. So um, it's kind of like what we were talking about in the, in the first conversation or the first question is like, you know, where does love begin? I I struggle with self-love. I think it's, I think it's something that, um, I've struggled with for a long time. And I think that, but the thing is, I am so spoiled by it. I have so much love from people in my life. It's amazing. The, the amount of people that I, that show me love and I feel love from is so amazing. And I feel like it's just such a generous experience for me. Um, but I also feel like I can give a lot of love too, but you know, do I have to feel like I love myself? I feel like, yes, there are times when that feels a little bit easier. It's more tangible for me to give love when I am working on my own love for myself. But I, I don't know. I feel like that's a hard, that's a hard thing for me. Sometimes my self love is it's easier for me to give it to someone else than it is to give to Karen. Why is that? I don't know. I think that's for everybody. I don't think that's just Karen. I don't, I don't think that's just you. I think everybody has that same struggle. You have a, um, and I was just discussing this with Miguel earlier today and last night, as a matter of fact, like you're treating yourself in a way that you would not let somebody else treat you. And you're treating yourself in a way that you would not treat somebody else. Why? Why do we do that? And I'm guilty of it too. I do the same thing. I will beat myself up and torture myself and give myself a hard time and say negative things about myself. I wouldn't treat somebody else that way. Why do I treat myself that way? It's I've got it. It's a Scorpio rising thing. We are our own worst enemies. That's what it is. We're our own worst enemies. We're hard on ourselves. We're self-critical, but for some reason we can have that struggle within ourselves, but yet we can love other people. I think that I can relate to what you're saying, Karen. Well, I don't know. Are there, are are our viewers Scorpio rising in their sign? Like drop a comment and let us know if that's something you struggle with. If you have a hard time with loving yourself than others. Yeah. I'm curious about the same thing. Cause I feel like it's not Uh, an astrological sign thing. I feel like it's just a human being thing. I think, but what I'm saying for the three of us, because we're Scorpio, we have a Scorpio rising. I think we can all relate that we're our own worst enemies and and very self-critical, but yet we're very loving. Or is it a woman thing? thing? Is it like, do women have a harder time with it? Because by nature, we're, you know, nurturers, you know, so we're kind of more of like a, maybe not more of, but we're givers, you know, we we give breast milk, we give our bodies to push a baby through. So is that something that, you know, just kind of comes more naturally is to love others than to think about loving on ourselves. I mean, you think about it, it's kind of a traditional thing that you hear about, like, yeah, my mom, she did everything for me, but she forgot about herself. 
I mean, it's a a story you hear over and over. So is it a female thing? I wonder if it is a female thing because I don't really hear a lot of men. You don't see a lot of uh, that whole, you know, mom did all this for me and, and didn't do it for herself. You don't hear a lot of dad did all this for me and didn't do it for himself. You know, dad's usually taking care of himself. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if that's a difference between men and women too. How many men viewers do we have? And I want to hear from you. Yeah, I want to hear from you too. It's very interesting. And I do think there obviously are exceptions to that. I mean, I think there are, you know, obviously men who give and, you know, give their life over to either their family or to their, um, you know, something that they believe in and that they might, you know, at the cost of themselves. Um, But I don't know. I mean, I just, just kind of came up because we were talking about, you know, why do the three of us struggle with this? But then you also said that Miguel struggled with it. So yeah, he's gay. I don't really know where he falls in the spectrum between man and woman. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know where you fit. (laughs) Well, Miguel might know where he fits. (laughs) I'm sure he does. (laughs) Miguel, well, I think. <laughs> well, I think for me to go ahead and, and answer the question myself, uh, self love for me that's something that I'm. I feel that I'm only just learning because of this COVID situation. I've had to kind of reevaluate and go, "Wow, I'm spending a lot of time by myself now. I need to remember to eat." And I need to remember to take care of myself. I mean, I've treated myself to a lot of things this year. I bought myself a lot of new clothes and, you know, I've been doing a lot of salt baths and practicing yoga and trying to be more mindful and meditate. And for me, that is embracing self-love, which I didn't even have before COVID. So I think it's an ongoing thing for me. And in a lot of ways, I'm just discovering it. I'm trying to be good to myself because I need to, because this is such a stressful time for everyone. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like? I was dating myself very regularly. And, you know, occasionally I'd put out. (laughs) That'll that'll segue into our next question. (laughs) I love that. So how do you, what do you just like take advantage of yourself and like, Oh yeah. Get oh, yourself yeah. intoxicated with some have, other kind of love. a little feel and on the drive home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You start getting fresh. You're like, let's see how far I can go. Let's see. Can I go to first base with myself? <laughs> you can't do it in the movie theater. Pee Wee Harmon proved that. Yes. <laughs> do not you get home. To express self love in that way at the movie theater. So back to your question, I was actually dating myself before COVID started and then COVID hit and I had quarantine and I enjoy spending time with myself. I enjoy going out on dates alone so much so that I will, a guy will ask me to do something and I'll be like, I think I want to do that on my own. Maybe, maybe I'll take you some other time or maybe I'll go with you some other time. But it, it just, when COVID hit, I had to rediscover how to date myself, how to take care of myself, that self-care at home alone. How do you, how do I do that? How does that translate? I had to find a whole different way of loving myself and, and caring for myself in a different way. And I I think there's a lot of people out there that are kind of struggling with the same thing. I had a, I had a lot of questions actually, when it did happen, People were like, are you still dating yourself because you're in quarantine? And I was like, well, the first couple of months, I didn't really know what the hell to do. I masturbated a lot. I think we were all dating ourselves. (laughs) I, you know, I really don't have a hard, like I, you know, while yes, I'm married, but I, my husband and I are very good about like having our individual alone time because I, I am okay with that. Like I need to have you know, my own care and time. And I need to, and I think it's healthy to have, you know, that separation, not yeah. everything has to be done with your partner all the time. Um, but yeah, I think kind of, I want to ask you a question, Mia, because, you know, you created this platform, Go Love Yourself, and that started off as, you know, 
just a Facebook page as you've talked about previously, but I just wanted to see if maybe there was like some conversation with your, your history and how you kind of grew up, you know, you went through a lot of trauma. So is this kind of creation of self-love like out of necessity for yourself? Because, you know, that's not something that maybe you experienced very well in your childhood. So to create this for yourself in your adulthood was kind of a poignant thing for you. I, there was I a question didn't in there. Even know what self-love was. I thought, I thought self-love meant that I go get a massage. Right. That I go get a, a pedicure. That's not what self-love is. Self-love is, is number one and foremost is how you talk to yourself. Yes. It's, it's how you talk to yourself and how you treat yourself. And number two, it's, it's that taking that time for yourself, you know, even like you do, Karen, like you say, even though you're in a marriage, you still have your own time and you do things on your own because that's healthy. That's a good thing to do to have your separate space together, separate space, but still be together, but have your separate space. We even have our own side of the sofa. (laughs) I'm not kidding we do like I'm just like this is my domain so I can fart on this cushion and then you can go over there and you can fart on the cushion (laughs) well I do know that it is because of my childhood and the the rough upbringing that I had and the type of love and I don't want to say that I wasn't loved because my parents did love me they just didn't know how to love me in a healthy way. So it was the type of love that I was given translated into years of me abusing myself and allowing other people to abuse me in my life. So I didn't know what self-love was for a very long time. And it wasn't until just a couple of years ago that I was in a situation that I went, well, I need to figure out me. I need to, I need to figure out this space and what's happening before I bring somebody else into it. And I mean, that's really where it came from was trying to figure out self-love. And, you know, I think that that's kind of like, you know, a, call it a mistake or maybe, you know, what, what, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, I think a lot of people seek out kind of relationships to fulfill that part of themselves that doesn't feel loved, whatever that relationship is, whether it's like a parental relationship, another friendship, another romantic relationship, you know, whatever that is to fill that void. And I think there's something really important about having that for yourself. Like I know how to love myself. I'm just not very good at it. (laughs) And I think there's a good distinction there. Like of, it's not just about getting, you know, a foot rub, you know, and a massage and taking that's self care. Yeah. That's self care. But but self love is, you know, telling yourself, you know, when you can't fit into your jeans, that you're not a walrus, <laughs> you know, which, yeah. oh, that's going to be another conversation. So, so stay tuned right. viewers, about body image. Oh yeah. Oh, that's coming too. Yeah. You look so angelic Mia right now. <laughs> you look at her. She's glowing. Doesn't she? She looks like an yeah. animal. Yeah. Cause I had to open my phone to read the poem. Well, and also I think this is your domain, like self-love. So you're yeah. like lit up literally and yeah. figuratively. I, I love talking about love in general. I love love. I, <laughs> it's so interesting because I, I'm literally obsessed with love. I, I don't, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm out there just loving everybody instantly all the time, but I love is so important. It's the, it's the reason we exist. You know what, if we don't have love, what's the point? We have to love each other and we have to love ourselves. We do have to love ourselves. Throw the, throw the love out there. But yeah, self-love is very important, but I don't believe just to wrap up the question. I don't believe that you have to love yourself before somebody else can love you. I believe that other people can love you until you learn to love yourself. But learning to love yourself is important. And that's something that you absolutely have to do. If you disagree with me, put something in the comments. I'll fight you. I have a rusty fork with your name on it. So (laughs) let us know. 
let us know if you also have issues with loving yourself. Yeah. Are we the only ones? No, I don't believe that we are. I think a lot of people have issues with self-love. But I would like to end this with reading a roomy poem. If I love myself, I love you. If I love you, I love myself. And the circle of life, therefore, is complete with the ring of love. Aww. Sweet. So make sure, everyone, you tune in to the next episode because we're going to get really saucy and talk about sex. Oh, it's going to be a good one. (laughs) Bye for now. Say I love you. I love you. Love you.